word. Welcome to the B-Side Word. We are a group of friends from around the world where we share our thoughts and opinions on interesting articles. I am here... No, sorry. I am Devon. <laughs> And I am here with Emma. <laughs> I was going to like, like, wow, congratulate you on your amazing, like... Still amazing. And I'm here with CJ. <laughs> Hello, I am here. <laughs> I, am, I am here with Maxi. Hello. And I'm here with Alexander. What's up? I'm sorry to cut you off, Emma. You but, did cut but, me off. But, but I was saying... Um, <laughs> You've like been promoted to a radio host. Have I? But then you you it, messed it up. It, 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 it was smooth FM. Yeah. Until you bodged it. Yeah. <laughs> then became bodged FM. <laughs> um, how is everyone this week? Has everyone been good? I want to get good. a feel good vibe. Are we good? I'm happy it's the weekend for us at least. We're recording on Saturday morning in Norway. Oh, but it's you've nice. Got the whole weekend to go. Yes. We're having a bit of a eh, aren't we? No, I'm. This air is good. Like rain is good here. No, it is good. Oh. Definitely. Good for the for the yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. But house. but we're just soggy. <laughs> we're. S- but no, you got, you got wet flip flops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you get all the little like gravel, wet gravel yes. between your toes. Yes. Oh. You know. You know that the pain. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. How do you get it? Why do you get it between your toes? You're walking barefoot. You're walking <laughs> flip flops in the rain. Oh, the flip flops! Yeah, the yeah. Flip flop. <laughs> I, I, I just want Max to know we have shoes. Only like on special occasions. We right? have shoes. Like, <laughs> yes, only for weddings. <laughs> yes. Only for don't weddings. You, don't you wear steel toe cap flip flops to work, Dev? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does. But he's just special. <laughs> and he gets to work. He goes, "I am here." <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, guys, first article this week. Okay. Mm. You ready? We're ready. Right. This guy, this artist guy, Simon Weckert from Berlin, posted a video on YouTube showing that he managed to hack Google Maps by carrying 99 phones in a little... You know those little like wagon cart things oh, that, yes, that yes, the yes, kids yes, pull yes, around. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he put ninety nine phones all connected to Google Maps into this little wagon cart. Yeah. To do an experiment and see if he could hack Google Maps, and he basically turned all the green streets to red <laughs> by walking slowly up these streets with these ninety nine phones. Crazy. I think you used the words hack quite generously (laughs) (laughs) this is the idea that if you look on google maps and you you type in directions it would tell you which streets are good to go down right like that's a green street there's clearer traffic and he's dragging 99 phones i don't know why he didn't do 100 (laughs) maybe that's better marketing i don't know and he goes he's dragging them down the street slowly to make it look like there's lots of people in the traffic jam yeah yeah. yeah. Is that what constitutes hacking Google now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, we would want to do this, but basically it showed that there's a high concentration of users on those streets um, and tricked drivers into believing that, oh, can't go down there. But yet it was literally bare. Um, so he, they, I, I think they, he posted this video and then people were like, oh, I don't think this is real. Like he has, he's not said much about it in and an engineer from Google said, no, nah, this could potentially work, actually. And yeah. then um, this Simon person updated, you know, everyone on how he basically did it and, you know, gave a little bit more insight. And he's like, he discovered that if he stopped the cart or the wagon, then the maps would show um, a traffic jam. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> so the wagon had to be constantly in motion for yeah. the jam to get like registered and then it was registering it as like slow moving traffic, blah, 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 blah. But Google basically um, put out a response saying, actually, um, we kind of need to know this because if people are being, if there's like a malicious person with malicious intent, yeah. they could actually do this to divert emergency vehicles away yeah. from certain streets. No, I was thinking, like, ah. I get 99 phones, put them mm. in my car, mm. and I drive to work, and my kids drive this with me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, I don't know how many people look, like, if it's the same route that they take, I don't know how many people use Google Maps. A lot. Do they? 
Even though it's the same route. Not if Damn you it, use you it hacked, to work. If you, you hacked my is hack. that normal? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't use Google Maps if day. I know where I'm going. <laughs> but it's, it's interesting to know that the emerg- emergency services might. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Like, so do they actually do that? They, well, yeah. That's like interesting. I thought they had, I don't know if they use Google Maps. I thought they had their own internal uh, map system. Because we have our own internal maps. They'd have to yep. do the. Um, you think they'd have to do the the test or whatever you know, like taxi drivers in London, like <laughs> emergency vehicle services driving. They should they should know where they're going. No, but right? they know where they're going. But the whole point is, getting if there, they normally go down that road. But they're saying we, the traffic. only way they know that road has a traffic jam at the moment. The feedback comes from a lot of people using it through Google Maps. Yeah. The alternative is cameras. Like if there's cameras on roads. Yeah. They can have an internal system that uses that as feedback. Yeah. Even if they have an internal system, they have to get the data from somewhere. And Google's like the biggest, the most accurate one we have at the moment. Yeah. So if you can, if you can influence Google uh, Maps, then you can influence influence anybody that's using that as data. Uh, it's just, it's, it's interesting how he he's, he just came up with this experiment. I know he's an artist, you know. One what does the, that mean? You know, well, artists are creative, you know, He's, <laughs> and, and especially those ones that like to be moving and, 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 and moving art. Uh, do they say it like that though? Do they say we are artists? Yeah. He's an artist, right? <laughs> but then he put artist at the end. Yeah. <laughs> so now he's an artist. <laughs> but you know what but got me? But an artist. Because <laughs> there's an actual video that shows him walking the street. Yeah. For what? what? Gordon, blimey, these people of Berlin are very, <laughs> very patient. No one even beeped him and he was walking in the middle of the road. They just like sort of Why went around. Why was in the middle of the road? <laughs> yeah, sometimes it was in the middle of the road, just walking. Why? I don't know. To mimic, I don't know. I don't think, to mimic the car? Can't you just be on the path? Yeah, sure. No, he wasn't. He was walking in the road. No, seriously. If I saw that guy walking on the road, I think he's got some mental issues. Yeah, but the cars were very patient. They just sort of, because he looks, you know. It, it doesn't look like he's... <laughs> Look at this car. Just he's like, the, oh, the cars. Okay. Obviously, the cars are looking at their sat navs like, oh, there's a traffic jam. <laughs> <laughs> I expected to be going this slow anyway. So that's, I've got a question for you then. If bearing in mind, you know, you're driving down the road, you've got your Google Maps open, and you look down and you see, you see like, ah, oh, there's going to be redirections or whatever. You get out at the gas station because the petrol station. Cause you need to fill up your car, <laughs> and you talk to someone. You talk to a local. You happen to get in a conversation. You say, "You know, like I, I saw there was there's like redirections. Do you know like the quickest way to get down the road, like to get down to this place?" Yeah. And they're like, "Yeah, yeah. If if you go straight down and you just you know pass the traffic lights, you go straight down the road. You know, like, you're like okay, okay, okay. You listen and, and you're like, okay, these directions they sound good. This guy knows where he's at. You yeah. get back in the car and you see, and all of a sudden." On one of these roads that he's told you to go down, there's a traffic jam on Google yeah. Maps. Are you going to believe? Uh, like you're you're immediately going to believe the technology, aren't you? Yes. 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 So and to be honest, I'm not sure why I'm asking someone for directions when I've got the technology in my car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I was well, no, like have you, you, you never got to have you never got to like a small small towns or something where Google, like Google Maps isn't. I don't know. I I, guess, when I've yeah. used Google yeah, Maps, yeah. it's not yeah. it's not brilliant. Yeah. 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 Yeah, hundred um, percent. Fair point. So now, and also, now you're driving down the road, and you see, you see the road that he's told you to go down that looks like a good road. Your Google Maps is telling you to go a different way. Yeah. But you can't see it quite clear enough. Are you going to chance it and go down because you think I don't see uh, traffic? Yeah. I'm or a are you gambler. Just gonna follow your I'm Google a gambler. Maps? I was going to say Let's that. Do it. Like, Let's go down. Do you trust the word of the person, or do you like get their directions and you're like, oh yeah, 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 <laughs> and then you get in your car and you're like, yeah. Do you ever have it where like you're walking, you walk into somewhere, and you know, you know it's in like that direction. You know it's up the hill. Yeah. It's like I can't remember, is it left up the hill, right up the hill, or it's in there that vicinity? And then you're like, hey, excuse me, uh, uh, to some stranger on the side of the street, look, I'm trying to get to this place. Do you do you know which way it is? Then he immediately points down the hill, <laughs> in the complete opposite direction of where you want to go. And then you have to be polite. You have to listen yeah. to the rest of the comment, like what is saying, right? And then he's like, yeah, so you just go down there and, and you're like, okay, yeah. And you take it right and you'll see, oh, I used to live in that corner. You're like, oh, okay, hurry up. He finishes the, the <laughs> sentence. Then what do you do? You're <laughs> you like have to walk stuck. partly down the hill first. <laughs> no, no. And wait, just slowly and wait for him to go. <laughs> <laughs> you just go, thanks, mate. And then you go the way that you're supposed to go. You go thanks, mate. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> very, very similar to Maxi's one, right? Someone, when someone asks me where to go, 
I go, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you go up this road, left and right. And I don't even know where it is. I'll just go what? left. No. And right. <laughs> I know. I That's my That's go-to. So that is my go-to. So if someone goes, do you know where this place is? I go, yeah, yeah. If you go down this road, left and right, you're there. No. Yeah. <laughs> Some old lady. Right you don't now do that, Dev. You do not right. do that. I do that every single Babe, time. That's such bad karma. It's not. Because I giggle afterwards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah <no giggling. laughs> all karma is defeated by giggling. Oh, my goodness. I kind of waffle with my direction. So then I feel like they've probably forgotten it by the time I finish. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And then blah, blah, blah. It's about that. And you'll pass this and that. And then. You're waffling now. <laughs> I've lost where you're going. <laughs> I just say yeah. that. Like, Did you get that? Yeah. 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 That's probably the polite way to. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because I'm a polite person. Do you know the one of the most useful ways now? When like when I was a consultant in London, I spent a lot of time going to like new offices, and then you know I had to figure out where it is, and I want to get on time for the meeting or whatever. One of the best things I did was use Street View, and then you can like walk the journey. Oh yeah. With Street View. And then I found I didn't even need to use my Google Maps on the way because once you see it visually, like it's just so easy to download like the way. So then you just walk. Yeah. You know, just using yeah. what you remember. So you, you do it once on Street yeah. View, then you can do the rest on your own. As long as it's not like a massive oh. journey. But most of the time you jump out just of a tube visualizing stop it. Visualizing what your mm. journey would be. I'm visualizing one minute warning. Oh wait, are you saying <laughs> you use Street View before your journey? Yes. Yes. Oh. So yeah. He, it's like he's walking it virtually. Okay, I like this. Yeah. And similarly, we did a walk from Banbury to Wales in England, which makes no sense to most people listening, but from the <laughs> middle of England to Wales, which was like 180 kilometers. And then the roads, which were like off-road a bit more, I did that on Street View as well to sort of understand oh. in the morning, you know, and then you walk it and then it's much easier than reading a map, well, at least oh, for us generation. That's uh, millennials. You, which uh, you got up and was, you um, you street viewed 180 kilometers worth of journey. <laughs> oh, <laughs> didn't do 180 <laughs> kilometers in one day. <laughs> I've been tired of the street viewing, let alone walking. <laughs> but one interesting thing mm. I wanted to say about the article, right? Yeah. Do you know how at the moment Google Google uses our phone to, and then we give that data to the cloud, the Google Cloud, and they tell everybody else how Where the roads at? are condition yeah. wise in terms of traffic. Tesla are doing a similar thing, at least back when I was studying this in university, where the Tesla at the front, he measures a lot more stuff. So he measures like the slippiness of the road, how wet it is, uh, like how tight a corner might be. And then he tells the Tesla behind him what to expect no. when he's coming up to, the ne- to that area. So it can okay. like, so a Tesla now, when they become self-driving, it'd be used a lot more. But even today, a Tesla, if it notices it's slippy because three Teslas have been passed already and went, oh, this is low grip. The next one will come by and the car will just slow itself down more so than the driver might expect. Wow. So it's a much safer turn. Wow. You would feel like, you know those cyclists in the Olympics where they um, they, they take turns at being at the front? Yeah. <laughs> you'd feel like you'd want that with the Tesla. So it's not always that one at the front, you know, in the danger zone. Yeah. You know, other people get a chance as well. <laughs> Tom Cruise is in that one. <laughs> the danger zone. <laughs> Just, Can you imagine just, just Teslas on that? They all meet up in a car park before they go to work. <laughs> at Macca's, at Macca's like, car park. Yeah, you're yeah. The boy racers on one side and the Teslas on the other. <laughs> just a, a side note to what Max is saying, right? Like, um, uh, Danton. Danton's got a um, uh, Mercedes, right? Yeah. And his car will automatically slow down if he's too close, right? Yeah. And he goes, he said to me that it's sometimes he it's more dangerous. That when the car just automatically breaks, because yeah. you're using your like your your visuals and your sort of your gauging stuff, and then when he's so when he's about to like overtake, sometimes it's pulled him back. It's started to break oh. because he's too close to the car in front of him. Wait, but and, so if he's got his foot on the accelerator, it still breaks. I think it automatically. Um, there's this. I don't know what it's called, but it automatically breaks. And then he's like, there's. He said there's been three occasions where he's just like got it rocked forward and the belts caught him and he's just like oh it slowed him dramatically down because the car's like you're too close you're too close and i was like can you turn that off that's surely you can turn that off can he i don't know he said i don't know i only just learned how to use cruise control this week and so i've been using it everywhere even just around the suburbs so, so, so you're now burning more fuel <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> 
Cruise control is meant to be for distances, right? I know, but I was like, oh, this is fun. So like on the 60 roads, <laughs> I'm like, I said it at 60, I'm like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Cruise control been out since the 90s and was discovered it in 2020. I know. I don't know, I don't know how to use cruise control. <laughs> We've had it in the car. The tough thing about cruise control is the people next to you don't know you're using it. So you have to like put your feet in the air to demonstrate, right? <laughs> <laughs> Woo, no feet. <laughs> Emma, Emma, you've got to do that. You go, I know how to use cruise control. Look at my feet. They're up in the air. <laughs> it's pretty good. Break. <laughs> it's pretty good. This next article is CJ's article. Mm. CJ, do you remember this one? Yes. I've titled it 911 for a pizza. Did you want me to talk about it? Yeah, you definitely could talk about it. Okay. All right. So this lady in Ohio called 911 and said, actually, we can listen to it. Do you want to listen to it? Oh, I actually didn't hear it. There's actually some footage. All right. Yeah, listen. Okay. One second. Let me just bring it up. I read it and I thought it was interesting. And I've said, oh, she's smart. I keep thinking about that song, 911. Is there a song called 911? White Clef with... White Shawn? Yeah. Do you know what I heard today on the radio? What? Right here. Woo, woo. It's the sound of the police. Woo, woo. It's the sound of the bass. What is that? Oh, man. It's like a... No. Yeah. I heard it on the way You haven't heard that, It's a classic. I don't know what the hell that is. Anyway. Ready? Do I know what that is? Should I should? Yeah. I I'm upset you that you don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah. no, I think you do know what it is. Can you turn it up? Oh. Sorry, gun nine one one. I would like to order a pizza <laughs> at twenty eight forty six Pickle Road. You called nine one one to order a pizza? Uh, yeah, apartment one seven one seventy one. This is the wrong number to call for a pizza. No, 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 no. You're not. Understanding. I'm getting you now. I got it. What apartment? 171. Is the other guy still there? Yep. I need a large pizza. All right. How about medical? You need medical? No. With pepperoni. Wow. All right. We'll get him going. Do you want to stay on the phone? Can you stay on the phone? Or? No. All right. We'll get him going. Thank you. Yep. Ah, uh, yeah. clever. Wow. Clever clocks. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That sent shivers. But did, yeah. how did she explain her address? Didn't she just say, is that, do you reckon they cut that for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. possibly. She did uh, say the full address that. first, though. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah she, she did. did. I don't think you understand. Yeah. Yeah, so at first it's like, that was... you've called the wrong number for to auto Did pizza. he, did he pick up on it, do you think, because of training? Or do you think that's him? No, yeah, that's well, tra- he, training so t- well, Tim, 10-8. Tenek, Tenek, uh, that's his name. He hadn't come across this before. Okay. Um, but when she said, no, 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 he was like, okay. Because he's, he's still experienced. Yeah. So he's just, you know, you know, thought, okay, right, I get you, I get you. But apparently in domestic violence um, groups um, that you can attend, they actually do recommend this strategy of using either mm. pizza or Chinese. <clears throat> yeah. And then apparently during the Super Bowl last year or the year before, there was they ran an ad mm. and the ad basically showed someone calling 901 for a pepperoni pizza. Yeah. And then it like pans to like a hole in the wall and stuff like that. And then it said, Man. Um, just, just, just ask for a pizza. Like we, we like something, I can't remember the exact words, but there was like this big ad. And so obviously people have started using that, but it, it's clever and it, it works. Clever. Yeah, but now... So everyone, all all the guys that abusing guys know about this. They're gonna they're gonna say get Italian, <laughs> no <Yeah>. pizza. <laughs> Doesn't work with Italian. No. Yeah, like um, a l- large pasta. You, you beat up your missus, and then like you know you hear her calling the calling for a pizza. You're like, oh, pizza! I've saw the ad. <laughs> it's this but, not this not a laughing matter. <laughs> I know, but I'm saying that that probably should have just kept it around, just shouldn't it? Mm. Mm. Yeah, but I mean, she might order pizza on other occasions. So, and then the pizza turns up. So, but in this case, it was a 38 year old daughter, and it was the mum, 57 year old mum, whose boyfriend that lives there came home drunk and he was like beating on the mum. Yeah. Type thing. Um, 
so she was calling on behalf of her mum. But I'm just like, oh. Yeah, this was a sad story. I know, but I thought it was intelligent in the way she... Very. Made. It was very intelligent. Just for the pizza. I'd never yeah. heard of this before. before Me either. Yeah. And I was like, man... I'm just bad. really impressed that he picked up on it so yep. quickly. Yep. Yeah, because if I was in that course, like, what's wrong with you? It's like, pizza? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like to get a pepperoni pizza too, but I'm at work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mate, get off the drugs. Slam the phone down and tell your colleagues how this woman's wasting your time. <laughs> yeah. But, like, but no, they ass. did. the police department did say this but, It is kind of, not everyone's going to pick up on it. No. And so it is touch and go. But I, but I, I feel like if, if, you, if you're a, like a, police officer or someone that sat in the call center and you're telling someone like you shouldn't be calling for the pizza like when she said like no 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 yeah like, this is the right number yeah like that that's a clue. that's the i trigger. think most people would pick up on that yeah yeah yeah, yeah like yeah. you're thinking why does she think like the question you say to yourself <laughs> when someone says that is what did who does she think she is to tell me this is what you ring the police oh, yeah. Okay, like, yeah yeah but i think i you think know. what's what's good about it as uh, it's beyond the fact that you picked up on it it's that you picked up on what it was like yeah. I know what you're yeah. saying. I th- I think we're giving a a bit too much credence to everyone's general intelligence. Like I don't think everyone would pick up on it. Yeah. Like I think it's really easy in hindsight to say that people would, but I don't think everyone would. But then even if they did pick up on, oh okay, no, they actually meant to call this number. Like it could be a number of different situations that person could be in. Yeah. But he seemed to recognise that it was domestic abuse. Yeah. Yes. Like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, that I no, don't that's know, that, true. That that's also true. impressed me. Yeah, I just thought it was very smart from both ends. Mm. Because that would have, if I was in that course, then, huh, that would have run over my head. Yeah. Mm. Like, to be perfectly honest, okay. that, I, w- I wouldn't have, fi- I, I would have maybe afterwards, maybe the next day, like, oh, crap. But, like, that moment, I'd be like, what is she talking about? Mm. Another, I don't know mm. what, I, I watched a, um, <laughs> a documentary. I don't know if you guys have seen it. I can't remember the exact name, but it's, I think it's something like, um, um, abused by my, uh, by a woman or something like that. Yeah, and it, it's such a good documentary. Um, and it follows the story of this English guy who was literally his partner. I don't think it was his wife. Um, his partner was. I mean, the stuff she was doing to him was just mind blowing, mm. and no one picked up on it. The family knew there was issues going on, but she had segregated him and he had no one else around him. But police had been called there a number of times and he would deny it because she was there. Um, and this there was this one savvy police guy that eventually picked up on it when he was in hospital because she chucked um, boiling water on him from the kettle. Um, but it was, you sh- it's a good documentary, but yeah, it's crazy again because it was unusual in the fact that it was a guy Getting abused, being abused, and so they just didn't pick mm. on, uh, didn't pick up on those signs. And plus, I think, but he was almost close to death because she was starving him as well. I, I think if a guy was being abused, it's also the shame of it. Yeah, he didn't want to. He yeah. yeah. Well, that, what do you mean? Like you're meant to be like a guy, like manly, manly, and next thing your partner's abusing you. Mm. Mm. She was like stabbing him, what? burning him, everything. See if a girl stabbed me, I think the relationship's over. <laughs> That's the point where I go, hmm. That's what you think. This but is not working out for me. Yeah. It's not always the case if you're in that situation. But yes, this is a pretty smart... I mean, yeah, because there's a... It's kind of, I don't know if it'd be exactly the same, but kind of like Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah. Where What's that? That's s- when you get so kidnapped stop, and you start... Oh, feeling, feeling you for get your, feelings feeling for... Feeling yeah. yeah. So it's kind of like the same thing. Like That's why they say... Like when people people address domestic abuse, when they, the first things people say is, "Why don't you leave?" But it's the fact mm. that they they are actually emotionally attached to the person. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I I really intrigued and want to hear what's going on with Dev's head, just because I've heard a lot of hmm 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 mm, the whole <laughs> way through. Been doing this. that the whole way through. <laughs> <laughs> you know when I noticed I was doing it too much, Maxie started doing it, and I was like, oh, "I'm doing it again." What? <laughs> I didn't even notice. I'm doing it oh. again. <laughs> what were you saying that, mm, to? Because I was listening to you guys and I was going, hmm. hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and Maxi started doing it and I started smiling towards them because oh, I was like, oh, I'm doing it again. But <laughs> the bad thing as well is because it's Skype, often the mm's are delayed. So when you listen back, they're just in the most random like. <laughs> but I want to say one thing on the domestic uh, violence thing. 
um, because we've had quite a few interviews with the human aspect. Um, often it's not just the emotional attachment. The people that do it cut off their ties. Like they'll cut off their ties with all their family. They'll cut off their ties to money. Yeah. So if they do decide to leave, they're basically saying, you have to be homeless. Yeah. Or if you go to the police, I'm going to kill you. Like it's yeah. not it's not because they're like, oh, I am feel good with this person. It's yeah. more that they're, they're scared There's what's no going to happen out. next. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. You True. Know? So it's like... Uh, what's that saying? It's just... A, it's the better the devil you know than... Devil you don't. Than the devil so what don't. you're saying is they should stay in the relationship. No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm not yeah. saying that, but they might have that... Um, the fear, that's the yeah, fear. They might... No, I think like people like... They find the people that are easier to abuse, I guess. People find... Like, um, you know, like with killers or yeah. stuff, they find the people that are easier for them to take out. Right. That they like, believe. So like, you're saying like an abuser finds the yeah, someone who's able to easier find someone to... they can control a lot easier yeah. than someone else. Uh, I think it's, just, it's just horrible. It's horrible. I don't know. This week on Max Facts. Max Facts! Max Facts! Brilliant. Love it. Love it. Okay, so the question this week, guys, is the average cloud in kilos, how much does it weigh? With water or without water? What? Yeah, it, is, it is water, water vapour. <laughs> no, I mean, sorry, rain clouds or normal clouds? Oh, okay, the max fact has just um, changed. Well, <laughs> sorry, should we do that again? No, no, no. I'm okay. so lost. What is going on? <laughs> Ra- rain clouds okay, there's or a big cloud clouds. Dude, clouds uh, to be honest i don't really know what an average cloud is <laughs> i don't know how to define an average cloud it just says a fact how much a big white fluffy cloud <laughs> in the in sky the shape of a, bunny. a big white one enough where you can look at it and be like that looks a bit like a average dinosaur cloud. you know that's an average cloud i feel like it weighs uh, zero me too nothing okay what's its mass Mm, I don't know. I don't know. What's its mass in kg? Half a kilo. Nothing. Zero. Zero. Alex, do you want to give us an answer? Can you have negative mass? Like. <laughs> <laughs> so hold on, hold on. Wait, you, you, wanna, you, you put you it on the scale, and the scale gonna... goes backwards. <laughs> <laughs> So yes. what you're saying here? Yes, Alexander. Put yes, put it out there because yes. I've already said something stupid. Yes. <laughs> no, no. Do you know what we I'm thinking? Put it on the scale. Because mass is, mass goes, is measured by Newton. Mass is measured against, against gravity, right? Huh? No, weight is gravity. Weight mass is measured is... against gravity. Yeah, I'm talking about mass. Oh, like so, is mass density? So your, my weight, my weight on Earth is different to my weight on the Moon, but my mass is constant. Okay. What's mass measured by? Kilograms. <sighs> Weights measured by kilograms. What? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. I don't, I don't know. This is why. The frustration this is, on Max's face. <laughs> this like, is the type of thing. Like, the reason why I didn't like physics because I never understood this kind of stuff. Like it, it just doesn't compute in my you head. Get my answer in stones. <laughs> like you, I know. New, like we have newton meters. I know. Like those can, exist. Can like, you just the, give an answer, Alexander? <laughs> give him an give him an answer. I don't. I have no I idea. Mean, I Clearly. said zero because I it's don't have not any gonna, idea. It doesn't matter what I say now. You should be like, oh, okay. <laughs> I could say 10. I could say 20 billion. You'll be like, oh, okay. That's a cool fact, Max. <laughs> and then we move on. It's better than <laughs> minus 10. <laughs> All right. Give us the answer. Uh, the answer is 450,000 kilos. What? 450,000 kilos? Uh, yeah. You sure there's not a minus in front of it? What are you talking about? <laughs> A white fluffy giraffe cloud <laughs> that you that you okay. would literally fall through if you fell through it. Yeah, yeah. So the, expre- the reason it's in the air because it's very it's not very dense. So the air below it is more dense than it. But the, it's made of water droplets. Yeah. When you combine all those water droplets together and you put it on a scale, it will come to four hundred and fifty. Wait, but is a cloud wow, made of water that's droplets? Impressive. Because that's already Pardon? that's like that to me is more of a fact that a cloud is made of water droplets. Oh yeah! <laughs> Wait, okay, what? So my... hmm. I'm so confused. But clouds are water vapor. Yeah, you'd get it from the ocean. But it's... yes, well, that's, that's, that's news to me. And that's water vapor to me. Are two different things. <laughs> Dev, I guess someone skipped that. Like, so... like for example, a cloud isn't made of ice. Like it's not made of ice cubes, is it? 
Like, but that's Not still vanilla. water. Ice in it though. But that's what I'm saying. Like, the fact that it's it. a cloud is made up of water droplets to me. That's like that's okay. mind blowing. Like I didn't realize that. I maybe, thought it was vapor. Maybe like... this is going in a different direction. So water vapor <laughs> is essentially very, very, very small water droplets. There's not really a difference. As soon as it gets to a certain size, like those vapor are very small particles of like combinations of H two O, right? Little tiny pieces of water, which are so small they're less dense than air. When they touch each other, they form a slightly bigger one. They keep doing that until eventually they become what we call droplets. And then when the droplets become big enough, they form rain because they then become denser than air and they start to fall. And as they fall, they hit all the other droplets on the way and become bigger and bigger and bigger. And then they come down as quite big pieces of the rain. Ah, That's how a yes. cloud works, right? So if you took all of those water vapor and combined it into one big pool of water, it would on the average cloud, which to be honest, I have no idea what the average cloud is. So straight away, the fact was pretty bad. It would be about 450,000 kg. Ew, 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 right? Is that what you've named it? Just ew. No, I think I've named this one Red Rooster Yuck, right? This Red Rooster place, do you know what Red Rooster is? It's kind of like a takeaway that only does roast chickens. Yes. Yes. Okay. So they do like roast chickens and gravy rolls or whatever with chips or peas or mashed potato, whatever. Anyway, this one car was pictured with these chickens in the boot. Yeah. Not wrapped up, not in a box, just dumped in the back of a boot. Oh, yeah. Roast chicken. Cooked roast chickens. Cooked roast chickens dumped in the back of a boot. And that's how they were being transported to Red Rooster. Like naked. So, like what? No, no, no wrapping. No, no, no wrapping. wrapping. No wrapping. No box. Just in Literally the back of the just boot. dumped on each other. Like they've got like this big like probably container and just went in the back of a boot to take it to the <laughs> restaurant. And and like the weather in Australia lately has have been like forty plus. Yeah. So this was so a this hot is day. Not, as this well. is not a great way to transport chicken. No. Yeah. I mean, so weather aside, I think it's still not great. No. Way. But I'm just adding the weather. But yeah, thirties. That adds, that adds maybe to I'll it. try it. Forty plus. <laughs> Winter time. Winter time. Get away with it. Man, this is all right. It's got cardboard. I mean, if it was a if it was a bit more, then you're just slow cooking the chickens on the way, right? <laughs> so there's a. Uh, Keeping them warm. But who thought this was a good idea? I don't know. This, did, this well, they closed down two two of these shops that this distributor transports the chickens to, mm. and um, I shall not be eating from Red Rooster anymore. Oh, that's it. You you rubbed them. Really? I'm off, I'm off of them. Mm. And that and that was some Ooh. good chicken. To be fair, it's mm. very hard to find Red Rooster nowadays. There's one near us. No, it's quite close so, down. Seven Hill. Yeah, close down. Oh. Yeah. What's, Maybe that was what's one your? Of that was one of the chicken ones. <laughs> What's your thoughts behind not like can like cancelling Red Rooster? I'm just curious. I feel like if one place or two places can do it, who's to say the rest aren't? I don't know. I'm just off. I'm just put off by him. Put off. Put off. Hmm. Yeah. But when I, when it's I, the back of like a hatchback small <laughs> car. Yeah. Like, yeah. Is that, they haven't got a very sort of advanced logistics strategy well, we're, by looks <laughs> we're talking about a company that has national like this is a national chain right it was a national and, chain. That's, well, so that's why i'm curious of why you cancelled them well as i said who's to know this was this one got pictured but who's to know the ceo at their annual agms what <laughs> what gives going? chicken out gives chicken out at the back <laughs> of his, lim his limo <laughs> Opens up the limo, goes, all right, guys, your, your Christmas chicken's here. And he starts giving them out. He starts frying them in the air. It's rain of chickens. <laughs> no, he might be caught, you know. Was he, was he definitely delivering the chickens? He wasn't someone just went to Red Rooster, bought them and went, no, mm, the I actual... like chicken. No, and but there's, there's a the signage of the vehicle as well. Yeah, the sign on the vehicle says delivered rooster. And it's a Red Rooster car. And oh, yeah. It does say delivered rooster yeah, on the back. And he was delivering so... them to the restaurant. So Emma, I've got a question specifically for you. <laughs> Go. This is interesting. If if you were the owner of Red Rooster, this clearly isn't part of your strategy, business <laughs> strategy. And this and this comes out in the news. How are you going to address this so that people like you don't want to never go to Red Rooster again? 
I would just be like, yuck, 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 yuck. I'm with you guys. Sack them. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go KFC. You've got to get on side. You've got to get on side. Get them on side. Yeah, I'm saying I'm giving free chicken. I'm driving up yeah. to their house and I'm taking the chicken out of the boot and go, you, you know can how, have one. No, you, you know, know can how have people one. TP people's houses with toilet roll? I'm chucking these chickens at their house. <laughs> what are you doing? As the CEO of Red Rooster. You have to get the people on side. If they know you're just so, as grossed out, okay, okay. they'll be like, right. So your, 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 your way of getting them on side is to throw leader there. chickens at the people that did it <laughs> okay i think it's so, the best strategy so to far throw chickens at them <laughs> isn't that the how to go into the situation guys in the first you place? put me on the spot if i had some time i'd come up with a better strategy <laughs> emma, emma emma would rock up in her car open her boot and then neatly unpack these chickens as a demonstration how it should be before she goes oh, yeah <laughs> that's a bit better so so essentially what we've learned is emma is in the wrong career she needs to be in pr because I'm, I'm loving this strategy. <laughs> I like that. Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> mm, I feel like chicken okay. now. Okay. Mm. So, mm. our lovely Lex has found us an article that I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll explain. So basically, you know how back in the day, yeah, we're talking like in the 1800s. No, I wasn't born. Um, they had you know <laughs> silent short films and stuff. Well, what they've managed to do is take one of these clips, one of these silent short films. Mm. Uh, this this particular one was called La Rive d'un train en gare de la ciotat. Right, mm, okay. which let me just you know transcribe that for you. That's Translate. the wrong word. Translate um, is something like the arrival of the train at the uh, train stop. Tat, right. Yeah. So back when the film came out, the f- you know the footage was grainy mm-hmm. and jerky, yes. and you couldn't really see the people standing on the side of the platform when it was arriving, and they've managed to put this film into basically 4K resolution at 60 frames per second and they've made it come out clear, I guess. I haven't watched the videos, but let's take a look at the original versus the new one. If you pull up your article... Is this a silent... watched the videos, Alex? I've watched the videos, yes. Okay. Is it silent film? Yes. Okay, there's no point putting the volume up then. Unless they've put, <laughs> unless they've put something no, behind the, it. The new one's the new one's not silent. The oh, new one's not silent. Yeah, okay. it goes. Should we watch it? Let's All have right, a look. let's watch it. So the original is this one. Oh, let's see. It's, it's coming on now. Time. The titles come on. Arrivé d'un train à la ciotat. And uh, Doesn't that sound good. There's a silent film. Yep. And uh, there's people waiting for a train. <laughs> yep. And it's a steam steam train and the train top ar- quality podcast the train right here. <laughs> the train <laughs> arrives at the train stop. If, if yeah, we, if we don't want to no award way. for this, at, we the never will. Don't, at the platform, can I just say reducing something? Reducing its speed as we speak. Reducing yeah. speed. Don't you guys just no. love? I have like a mini obsession with olden day clothes and like how they used to dress. Yeah. Yeah, why? I'm just loving. I don't know why they always dressed in black and white. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> they had two colors back in those days. Nice, <laughs> nice Maxi. <laughs> <laughs> High five. <laughs> All right, so we You're get like, that. We get. I'm so we happy get we that. dress how we do. Yeah. And now we're gonna pull up the 4K All right. 60 frames so, so per I'm second. Gonna, I'm gonna replay what's just happened. Yeah. Um, the title. I don't know how this one actually gets. The title longer. comes up. Can you put some excitement in your voice for this replay? And um, it's got um, black and white. Oh, oh there's a bit of toot wait, toot. they put what? some sound what? in there. It's the sound the music of the train. On this one. <laughs> they they um, do, they put some sound in. The train is coming. Oh, yeah, they've got a sound. And once again, the train. Oh, ha- look at that train. Has look entered, at the clarity. Has entered the platform. I think this is unnecessary. i tell you why. Because I got what the story is about the first time. (laughs) (laughs) I don't don't think the clarity is needed (laughs) because I watched the first one without the sound and I got, I I understood what was happening. Yeah, people are getting onto a train. (laughs) It it looks like someone's gone for a lot of effort for no reason. I'm less impressed now. 
I am very impressed. <laughs> and it's still black and white. Like That's if they turn, color. if they put color on it, super impressed. I think that is I think I impressive. think when they put color into old films, it's much more impressive. Yes. One application where they might use this is if they're trying to film like a modern day film and they want to have a clip from an olden days in there. Ooh. Maybe they can just turn so then it doesn't interrupt your movie experience. But then would you get the same feel that it's an olden yeah. olden f- day f- footage? footage? Don't you want the graininess? Unless they're yeah. trying to hide the, the, that the, it's the old The graininess footage. makes it look olden day. We're talking... Uh, CJ is a movie buff. He's the buff. When, when let's let, let's say the buff. When they go back into the olden days, like, are they watching... I can't think of any film where they go back <laughs> into the olden days as just a short clip. But do they make it like grainy? Like, does the camera change as well? Like, yes. I watch Men in Black. On Home Alone, they like, go. Like, they... like sometimes when they've done like older style films, they've made it grainy on purpose. Yeah. On Home Alone, so this where is they, where this they, is where interesting. They go to this TV screen, and he goes, "You dirty whatever." Dirty yeah, you're a dirty rat. I'm gonna give you the ta- count of ten to get your filthy. But- no good, son of a bitch. <laughs> Sneak your ass, Adam. <laughs> but that's different because in the film, they're in present day watching an old film yes. yeah. where it would be grainy. What yeah, I'm saying is, true. there's in the Men in Black where Will Smith goes back in time to the oh, 30s or 40s. Oh, yeah, 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 no, no, no. They use clear film then. Yes, like, yes, yes. But um, did you, what was that TV mean. show called? The Gangster One? <laughs> oh, um, um, let me think. Um, um, the TV but, show but, with oh, the gangster oh, in it. Boardwalk Empire, something like that? Huh? Empire. Empire. Um, I'll just give me a second. I'll look it up. Um. Anyway, the TV show, type in the Power. TV show with the gangster in Google. You get it straight away. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, with, I know when an actor's in it. With <laughs> with um with the TVs now, with the 4K TVs now, um, Tom Cruise felt that it was necessary to give a PSA to say that we've been watching films wrong because what? of the, because 4K is so crisp. Um, film weren't supposed to be watched that that with that much detail. So he he actually went on the internet and did this PSA on what settings you should have on your TV when you watch film. What? Yeah, because yeah. it's even like um Wait, even like frame rates. To... Like when you record for cinematic effects, you record at a lower frame rate than people yeah, record on their phones 24, now. Twenty four fra- twenty four frames, yeah, for cinematic, yeah. Because yeah. you need so... that natural like it's it's like uh, the natural blurs and things like that, like motion you blurs. Want blurs and stuff, yeah, but you don't get. Through high, yeah. Uh, I think sit- I sit- high sitcoms mean. and that sitcoms are at uh, 30, 30 frames per second, so it's more crisper. When you see these new TVs, it literally feels like it's too perfect, and it's 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 too much. Like it's too perfect. That, hence, that's but why Tom Cruise. That's maybe just us because our TV is like almost eleven years old. Our, our TV is the way we're supposed to watch <laughs> film. Our TV, the sound <laughs> is louder than the sound of the TV. <laughs> whirring and humming because it's so old yeah, it's not, like louder it's not because we have the watching. right settings maxi it's not because we have the right settings it's because our tv is so old yeah, that it, yeah, 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 you yeah, walk yeah, past yeah. the tv and so, you stand in front of the tv as the heater basically <laughs> <laughs> you sound like you sound like those guys this is going to be the new thing do you know the people that play records still because they like the sound of the scratch yeah and they say it sounds better when you play it on a record player this is the new thing now yeah you're gonna buy one of those big box heavy tvs yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you turn it on, it makes that you know that sound. Walk walk into someone's uh, house, you go, oh, you got that new fandangle thing, eight K sh- shimmy, whatever. Give me the ten. No, I, I heard, I heard those big TVs back in the day where it used to say on the side of the box like "Do not lift whilst the TV is turned on." Yeah, oh. Oh, no. right? that, that was an instruction, and they thought it was because the TV got much heavier <laughs> when when you turned on all those people inside. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that a joke, Maxie? Or is that real? Well, I, I heard it as I heard it on another podcast as a fact, but then the other like host quickly said that doesn't sound like a fact. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not sure. Maybe one person said it once, and now it's like a, everyone in the olden days used to do this. <laughs> so have you ever uh, have we got any Family Guy fans here? Oh, I used to watch that, but I mean, I'm not a fanatic. I... <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Nice. yeah. So there, there was an episode. Um, is is one of the older ones. Cause I haven't watched it in years, but it was an episode where they they went from normal definition to high definition, um, mm. and they made the joke of like newscasters and they're saying how like 
we, you know, we'd been seeing these newscasters, how we'd been seeing them all this time, now they went to high definition, and you realise how old they were. So, like, they're quickly, <laughs> like, the women, they were quickly replacing them for younger, fresher looking oh, women. Oh, no way. Now, I, for the first time, had that experience of witnessing this, because there's this what? NBA analyst that I watch, um, and she has a she has her own, like, little show. Uh, now, it's on, I watch it on YouTube. And, you know, I've been watching this for, for a few years now. Then I saw her on on the news because she was talking about Kobe Bryant. And so she was actually on, like, a proper news show. And I saw her in HD and I was like, whoa. I did not, not realize, like, how wow. how, how, how old, how old yeah, she yeah, looked yeah, yeah, yeah. and all these different things. And I was just like, it's, uh, like, it was so weird to have that happen after seeing the joke years ago on Family Guy, to actually, like, have that experience. <laughs> and you're like, it was true this whole time. Yeah, that was a good but show. That's that probably was. the most delayed laugh to a joke I've <laughs> yeah. ever heard. What? My <laughs> one? My laugh? <laughs> no, Emma. <laughs> Alex's laugh so to confused. the Family Guy joke. Ah. <laughs> but, no, I, I, I find it really, it's I found it really interesting. Point. I wanted to let you, like, go when you when you first got in this article like your thoughts about this were related to i guess the the outcome the use case of this with film well i was mm. just more fascinated by the fact that a neural network did this oh like what's a what's a neural network i think like, brain? Uh, uh, yeah artificial well the, in this case artificial intelligence oh oh, oh. Wait, what? okay, I didn't know. You should have jumped in pretty early because we, we, we just we took went it. Off. And we went off. We, took, we picked else. up. No, no, no. I was, I, was in, I was interested to see where you took it. Um, yeah. But I, yeah, I just thought that was really fascinating that uh, a neural network had the ability to do this. Like, if you look in the original clip, for example, when the train's going by, like when it's in a station going by, the whole side of it's basically black. But this neural mm. network is put in detail to a moving no image. Way. Now this is my that's way interest that's so interesting. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well wh- where would you go with it? That that's happened. Yeah, and now what? Like pretty crazy. It's just what? pretty crazy. <laughs> that's it. It's so interesting, that's all I got. <laughs> you're like one of those you're like one of those kids there that keeps saying why all the time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. Oh, I'm just, oh why? I'm just, why? I'm just interested because you you were very you were bamboozled. Yeah, so. I'm bamboozled. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the B Side Word. Make sure if you enjoyed it to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe and drop us your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit the bell, hit the bell. Hit the bell, hit the bell. bell.